Auzubillahimineşşeytuanirracim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Statement of Financial Position The name of the company, the name of the statement and the period it that is on such and such a date then we have numbers in thousands rounding now we got non current assets there is a note to it in note we have a building we have a plant and equipment and we have motor vehicle so here we are taking the net after taking out the accumulated depreciation now why we have taken the net here because we have already given a schedule of non current assets if it is not there then we are report, supposed to be reporting cost minus accumulated depreciation for all these three assets but since schedule is there so we are not reporting it as such cost less accumulated depreciation current assets this is the closing inventory then account receivable in here there is a note here that uh, there is customer who gone bankrupt or other who is not able to pay you so we reduce it from there and similarly there is a uh, 5% provision we create on it so this is again a note and from there we took this figure of 1140 then we have bank balance and this is as it is now so far current liabilities are concerned we have got accounts payable sale tax payable do you remember this is sale tax payable to the government then income tax payable that is also go through the government now total current liabilities are 4160 here it's a problem because your current liability is greater than current assets it means you have got a negative working capital and this is a bad sign for any business that you are end up with a negative working capital it means that your current assets are not enough to pay off your current liability which is very sad because see then we have net current assets is there then we have total assets less current liabilities liability you know again i repeat here that the format is slightly changed instead of putting all assets together and then liabilities and equity together what i did basically non current assets then we took current assets minus current liabilities to show the working capital so now we need we remain only equity so equity is issued and paid up capital this includes the new share which you have issued and there is a share premium of 1500 1500 and the retained earnings again these figures are from the statement of change in equity because statement of change in equity will show you whatever is belongs to the shareholders the owners of the company i mean they are the people who are supposed to own the company they are the person who have I mean this their stake is 914000 so total amount available to the stakeholders is 914000 so this is what actually the uh, balance sheet or rather change in uh, statement of financial position so this is very important statements and we need to see how it is presented so the presentation is slightly different in fact there are many ways of presenting this statement so this is one of them and mostly companies prefer this type of presentation thank you very much